So if you had a daughter and she was 10 and she got raped and she was well, going to give birth I, I, and I she would, no, wait. Oh, and she was going to give birth and she was going to live. Would you want her to go through that and carry her well, that's this awfully, baby? That's awfully graphic. The it's the, no, but it's a real life okay, scenario well, that happens calm, calm to down. many the, people. The answer is yes, the baby would be delivered. Oh, okay, great. So I, that's insane. But, um, but let me tell you why. No, hold on. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> There's two ultrasounds I have. One is a baby conceived in rape. One is a baby conceived by a loving couple. Which one is which? Wh which Your person, daughter was which probably person here was con hopefully which conceived person here? by a somewhat Which person here was couple? conceived by rape? Tell me which one was conceived by rape. You don't know. Exactly, because it's all human rights but and it's all human beings. But that doesn't matter. So you, it's, but it's you, about you your do, daughter uh, who uh, has uh, to give no. birth to it and is going to be tortured by that Hold for the rest of her you, life. You, you are that's going to take away every freedom second. she's ever going to have. Well, that's going to ruin freedom. her life. She's going to you know grow up and she's going to be attached to another thing. The point is how you were conceived is irrelevant to what human rights you get. But when you, hold on one second. If a person conceived in rape walks on the side of the street, it's not like they don't get First Amendment rights or Second Amendment rights. It's or not Fourth about that rights. person. The worst thing to do to that da the daughter is to then say, hey, we're going to go murder the being in inside of you. They wouldn't even know. Like, listen. They, they wouldn't listen, know. Listen, 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 listen. But wouldn't it, wouldn't no, it be no, a better story no, to say something wouldn't. evil happened and we do something good in the face of no. evil instead of saying we're going to do evil and then murder the being because we're going to we're going to we're going to pander to the evil? No. What there, makes what makes the West great is that we do good after evil, not evil after evil. It's not about the being and the, the cells. No, it's I, not about. I, no, no, no. I'm speaking. No, 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 I'm speaking. Got it. Thank you. So it's not, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking no, about the person. No, about no. I'm talking about the person who is dealing with the pregnancy. I am not talking about the cells. I don't, I don't oh, care. No, listen. The fetus, the whatever. I don't care about that right now whatever. until it is wow. formed. What, if, what, there what is a, if there is a five-year-old child who is pregnant and the baby okay. is two weeks F in utero, can't get pregnant. actually okay. they have, and they have okay. given birth. Five there is, have yes, given pregnant. there I, is I, I one, there is I, one recorded case of a okay, five-year-old girl corrected. who gave I, birth. Is that, is that, is that common? Yes, uh, not com it's common. Five-year-olds get sometimes, and it's, okay, if I, they get pregnant, I think they should be able then. to have medical okay. access to something that could save not only just their life, but like their livelihood. How, how many, how many, I'm curious. How I many? hope your daughter lives a very happy life and gets away from you. There you have it. Charlie Kirk is against abortion rights and he doesn't believe in a rape exception. While he constantly interrupts the woman who is trying to speak some sense into him. Even though I'm pro-choice, I understand the argument of those kind of pro-lifers saying that it's not the baby's fault. I agree that your life shouldn't be considered worthless because your father was a scumbag. However, the argument in this clip was not about adults but about 10 year olds getting pregnant. If an underage female got pregnant by an adult male, that is always statutory rape regardless if it was consensual or not. And yes, it would look different on an ultrasound than if it was a pregnancy that was created legally on an adult female. 10-year-old females are not fully grown, so their bodies can't handle pregnancy as well. It would be bad for both the said mother and the said baby if the mother is not within appropriate age range. So if a 10-year-old got violated and people know there was no protection and they know that the girl got pregnant, what's so bad about immediately terminating the pregnancy when it's just a zygote, one or a few cells? It may be a human life, but it is barely sentient. Why wait until it does gain sentience and there are complications? And then you'll have a high likelihood that the baby won't survive anyways and the mother's life would also be in danger. So even if a rape victim's baby shouldn't be blamed for the rape, you have to allow an exception when it comes to the health and life of the mother, especially if it is an underage girl. Otherwise, you are a worthless piece of trash who is not really pro-life. With that being said, I am pro-choice, and I always will be. I live in Canada, and we Canadians have ended this counterproductive war on abortion decades ago. I believe Americans should do the same. Abortion laws don't significantly reduce abortion, if at all. It just takes away medical resources from women and girls. And in some cases, it puts their life in jeopardy. Haven't you seen how so many doctors in these red states are refusing to treat women's pregnancy-related health issues, which includes miscarriage, 
due to fear of being punished by these strict abortion laws, I think conservatives in America should trust women to make their own decisions along with their doctors and leave abortion out of their policies. Maybe then far more women will support them over the Democrats and they would have supported Donald Trump over Kamala Harris like you guys want. I mean, it is already proven that abortion rights are overwhelmingly the number one reason American women vote for the left. If you support Trump and your main issue is with illegal immigration, taxes, and inflation, then focus on that and stop jeopardizing women's rights. You Republicans are hurting yourselves by being a disservice to women.